All right, welcome back to Aresto's Garage. Uh, finally got um, some possession of a couple of um, nice old cars. I've got a uh, HZ um, cab, and I've got the, um, well, what do you call it, the bonnet, nose cane, and front guards, the two doors to go with that. Um, and also, I've got a HG wagon. So um, this will be the last time I video in my own garage again. So I'll be heading off to my own new shed, which is pretty cool. Um, and so a lot more work will get done in there. Uh, what else are we up to? Um, well, let's stop wobbling and get into it, eh? All right, so what I'm doing here, so I marked out right here into this weld into here. So I'm gonna cut along here. Yep, so all the way along here. Then I'm going to chisel out all these rusted spot wells. If I can find some, I'll drill them out. Other than that, I'm just been tapping them in. All right, so what I've done, I've cut along the top edge. I've cut down, but not all the way through. This one here, I still got the insert on the third layer on this one. There's three layers. Uh, this one here, it's supposed to be three, but there's only two left. So now I'll just chisel out over here. I'll, I'll drill out that spot where I'll probably got a couple down here. I'll have to try to hunt down. Other than that, that piece is ready to come out. All right, so as you can see, I've done all that one. Now I've also cut out this section. I've still got a little bit more to cut out there. All the way through up to there and over to the other side there. However, that side's fine. It's got a couple of pinholes in it. I'll just tack those up. Uh, it's all been treated. So while I'm in here, I'm gonna do the rest of this um, dash so I can get that all nice and clean and get it um, epoxy. And then after I, obviously after I weld all this all up. So I forgot to record, this is what I'm up to. I'm just put a bit of um, weld through primer just to seal it. Fresh bit of metal there. It's all welded through primer under it as well. I'm going to cut this section out here because that's just annoying me before I do any further. But I'll hit record on this one. So, yeah, I dug out a heap of um, body filler in here. I don't know what it was in there for, it wasn't doing anything. But, um, I've got this cow piece. So as you can see, once it, it'd be screwed in, it winds up pretty good. So a bit more body work around there once I get to it. Weld that section in, clean the rest of this um, pinch weld up right around the windscreen. It's not done yet. But, um, and then epoxy the whole roof and then I'll start getting to the onto the roof get it done because um i want this roof all done and sealed but it's the boys are laughing at each other how wavy their roofs are when they dropped off the cars the funny thing is <laughs> the hg's got more waves in it than the the hz but yeah that's all covered up at the moment so yeah she's got she's a lot older car but yeah she's got a few hail dents and I don't know what else you would call those other feet jumping on the roof probably but yeah she's gonna need a, a good good lot of pulling out of dents 
Alright, so I've got that piece all in there now. Just got to finish cleaning it all up. That's all metal, no, no body filler. Um, and now I'm just going to get up and clean around all the, the pinch weld around the windscreen. Um, sand this back, sand the roof back, um, and epoxy it all. Alrighty, so we've got a, just a fresh coat of uh, epoxy down. Uh, and the roof had a spray gun issue, so um, yeah, so I got a few drips and then it blew out and oh my god, it was pathetic. So, that's what it looks like. You can start seeing all the bad imperfections in this whole roof. <laughs> but that's alright. We'll get it all sorted.